We are waiting for your friends. We are going to check out the worksheet that we were working on yesterday. This is from section one, and this is the last page. So we got through a couple okay. of these. These are called question tags or tag questions. Once again, this is section one. This is on the last page. And we went through a few of these. Sorry, let me grab my uh, pencil here. All right, these, oops, we got some more kids. Once again, yeah, these are called, yes? Tab, that is in the quiz. No, this is from section one. Oh, you hold a pocket. Last page. And I think it's labeled orange. All right, so when we are doing question tags, uh, you need to pay attention to two things. The subject of the sentence, which is what the sentence is about, and then you also need to pay attention to the verb, okay? Your subjects of the sentences should match the tag, the question tag at the end, okay? We have the Chapmans, which are more, uh, more than one person, Okay, so we have to have they as a pronoun and we want the verb to be the opposite of the uh, verb in our statement. So it says, the Chapmans are going on a cruise. All right, so the Chapmans aren't they. The Chapmans are going on a cruise, aren't they? All right. They matches the Chapmans here. And then aren't is the opposite of are here. OK. And I believe we did number two and number three. A rooster can't lay an egg. Can it? Oops, we got some more kids. All right, so a rooster can't lay an egg, can it? It matches with the rooster here. There's only one rooster and it's an animal, so we have put it. And then can't is the opposite of can. A rooster can't lay an egg, can it? And then I believe we also tried number three. Mr. Johnson hasn't finished his painting. Mr. Johnson is a boy or a man. Uh, and the opposite of hasn't is has. Mr. Johnson hasn't finished painting. Has, uh, hold on, has he? All right, who would like to try this fourth one here, dealing with Jennifer? All right, Domi, what do you think? Can I just write it? How about you just say the whole sentence and I'll Jennifer, write it. Jennifer won't finish the homework on time. Will he? All right, is Jennifer a boy or a girl? Will she? All right. So yes, Jennifer is a girl's name. Also, this says housework, not homework, but that's okay. Yes, Jennifer won't finish the housework on time. Will she? All right, I am going to erase all of these. And let's 
Look at this next one, Mina Hill. You want to try this next one for us, please? Sharon, which is a girl's name. Sharon goes for a walk at the weekend. Uh, ah, so um, this one and actually the next one as well. These ones are tough, okay? Um, because we have in English, uh, we have an optional verb do here, okay? So we have left out the word do or does. This sentence should read, uh, Sharon does go for a walk at weekends. And then we should have the opposite of does. What's the opposite of that, Mina Hill? Does it? Doesn't. All right. So sorry, that one's a bit difficult because they have left out the word doesn't, which they also did on the next one as well. Doesn't she? So you might see that sometimes as well. Sharon goes for a walk at weekends, doesn't she? All right, and let's try the next one. Joden, can you try the next one? This one also, we have left out the word does here. This guy's name is Brian. We're talking about the boy here. Brian, Brian wants to keep a little as a pet. That does he? Doesn't he? Doesn't he? All right, good work. Yeah, those ones are kind of tough when we leave out the word do or does. All right, next one. How about David? Can you try this next one for us? We have Alfie here, which is a boy's name. Teacher, is that new? Okay, how many cats do we have? Eaten at a Chinese restaurant. Is he? Okay, Jody. All right, so we want the opposite of has, which is what? Is he? Hasn't is the opposite of has, okay? Four, are they equal, yes or no? All right, so it should read, Alfie has eaten at a Chinese restaurant, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Looks like he has delicious Chinese food. Um, Roth, would you like to try the next one, please? And make sure you pay attention to this S on bears. We have more than one bear here. Brown bears does brown bears don't live in the North Pole. Isn't uh isn't he? What's what's the opposite of don't? Doesn't no do. All oh. right, and how many bears do we have? Two. So we should be using what pronoun for more than one person or animal? They. They. All right. So this should read, brown bears don't live in the North Pole, do they? No, that's why we have polar bears in the North Pole. And once again, kids, we just use question tags when we're trying to check our information. Like, for example, in this last sentence, we could say, like, we think we're pretty sure that there are no brown bears in the North Pole. Brown bears don't live in the North Pole, do they? All right, let's keep going. Is this a new going. packet? No, this is section one on the last page in section one. There, There is not going to be a new packet. That's why I'm trying to sign all you kids up for quizzes so we can do these things online. Oh, okay. 
Okay. All right. Okay, Ramsey. Yes. Already done the quiz from yesterday. Yes, you did. And you did a good job. Don't worry, I'm just making sure that we all understand how to use the website. Some of your friends, they'll still need to sign up. Um, how can we do the test yesterday already? How can we do the test? Um, Mina Hill, you said you were having trouble doing it as well, yes? No, I didn't saw it. There was down saying fractions. Uh, like so I guess Roth, just go to the bottom of the page and it will just click on the assignment there, okay? No, there's your name. Okay. Mm -hmm. That one at the bottom. Uh, there's fra the top of it, it's fraction, and the down of it, it says your name. Ah, okay. So the assignments at the top of the page then? Yes. Okay. I didn't yeah. saw it. Um, don't worry about your score on this one. I just want to make sure we all sign up for the website. Okay. So those of you who yeah, I already not sign up. done so yet, make sure you do. I'm talking to Jupiter and Kinsai and Nika and Piriak and Piri and who else hasn't? Teacher, um, uh, I don't, I, I, feel, yeah, I, I am signed up, oh, but yeah? I don't see any, like, I don't see anything, uh, what is the indicator where, like, you can see a quiz? I'm so confused. That's okay. I am, uh, I'm also a little confused because, um, this is my first time using this website. So if you don't find it, immediately that's okay but you have signed up for the class grade four you're in my grade four class i think so i don't see you on this list here actually so i, I think you need to sign up first so when you go into class dojo here let me uh share this screen with you Guys, I know how to get to the quiz. Just go to the first row of things and you see the sign things. Look for the one that has the thing by Ramsey. Or tell your parents. Or tell your parents. All right. Uh, my parents do not know how, to, how it works. Here is, here is this uh, letter that I sent you all. So all you have to do is click on this one. Don't click on the website, click on this second one. It says click on this link. And then it's got this long link that will give you a link to the grade four class. And then you can type in all your information. And I think that's it. Oh, I think I think uh, my mom sent me the just the quizzes.com, not the, the join class thing. Okay. I think that's why. Don't worry. Just try to do it today. All of you who have not done it yet. I got about half of you on board, which is a good start. All right, back to our question tags here. All right, uh, let's try this next row. All right, um, Tycoon, you wanna try this next one, please? Tycoon, are you alive? Okay, how about Hannah? Are you here? Yes, teacher. All right, you want to try this next one? So once again, just pay attention to the subject. Uh, and actually, this one is also missing the word do or does here. So your answer is going to be the opposite of the word does. So we have Harry and Amelia. 
How many people is that? That's two people. All right. So what should our, how should we finish this sentence here? Harry and Amelia got married last Saturday. Teacher, you shouldn't put a does in there. You should put did. Harry yes. and Amelia did. You are correct. I forgot this is past tense. This should be did. Thank you, sir. All right, so Harry and Amelia got married last Saturday, didn't. I'm a today. And what should we use, Hannah, because we have two people here? Um, um, I think that. All right, kids, remember when you have more than one person or more than one bear, uh, make sure you're using they. All right, Harry and Amelia got married last Saturday, didn't they? And yes, this is past tense here. So uh, we have past tense up here. So we have to use past tense uh, at the end of the sentence as well. All right. Um, Nika, can you try this next one, please? We have Mr. Lee and didn't. Nika, are you here? So Mr. Lee is a boy. Didn't come to the wedding. And then what's the opposite of didn't? Did. Did. did he? All right, perfect. Mr. Lee didn't come to the wedding, did he? Okay, Gigi, you want to try the next one, please? We have Grace, which is a girl's name, and she does not look like she wants to go shopping here. It almost looks like she's want, she doesn't want to go to school, by the way. She's going shopping, apparently. Gigi, are you here? Oh, man. How about Terry? You want to try this one, please? Grace doesn't want to go shopping, does she? Perfect. Grace doesn't want to go shopping, does she? Apparently not. Okay. Um, Jupiter, can you try the next one, please? Daisy's father is an, an athlete. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Is he? All right. So yes, Daisy's father is a boy. So we need he and we need the opposite of isn't. So Daisy's father isn't an athlete. Is he? Looks like he is. All right. Next row, kids. We're getting better. Some of these are a little difficult here. And Vitu, can you try this next one, please? We have Mark, who is a boy, and our verb Mark, is wasn't. Mark wasn't playing football in the garden. Uh, was he? Perfect. All right. Mark wasn't playing football in the garden, was he? Yes, he was, apparently. And next, we have a gentleman eating pizza. Who have I not heard from yet? How about Pyrrhic? Are you here?
Actually, this one's kind of difficult. Yes, I'm here. Do we remember how to make suggestions? Um, actually, P. Rick, why don't you try this next one? Mrs. Scott, who is a girl. Mrs. Scott is playing golf at the moment. Um, What's the opposite of is? Isn't it? Mrs. Scott isn't she is not a it. All right. Yes. Isn't she. All right. Mrs. Scott is playing golf at the moment. Isn't she? Yes, she is. All right. And Kim Sai, do you want to try this next one? Isabella, which is a girl's Isabella name. Isabella was at school yesterday morning. Um, was uh, was an she? Yeah, all right. Wasn't she? All right, and let's go back to this guy who's eating his pizza here. Does anybody know how to do this one? Do we remember? Maybe we we'll place. Well, maybe we we'll place the nets with. Can we? Um, let's go to an Italian restaurant and have pizza, can we? Um, yeah, you could say that, although that's a little bit impolite. Well, maybe not impolite. It just sounds not the best phrasing. Do you remember a word that starts with S-H that we learned about we? when we were making suggestions? Sure. Yeah, all right. So this one, we're just making a suggestion here. Let's go to an Italian restaurant and have pizza, shall we? You could also say, can we there as well? That would be fine. All right, questions on this? Just make sure. No. That if you have a positive sentence, you should have a negative question tag and make sure that we are using the correct pronoun, whether it's I, you, he, she, it, we, or they. All right, kids, that's enough about that. Yes, Vitu, do you have a question? I have a question about Queen. a website. About the website? What what's your question? Uh I don't see the work. You don't see the work? Uh as they said, just the first row of quizzes, look at some of the C's assigned ones. Or tell your parents. That's true. You can also ask your parents. If I you need to um, I believe, let me look for it here. I'm not exactly, um, I am not so familiar with this website either. I am also learning as we go here. So I don't think I'm looking at the same thing that you kids are because I have the teacher account here. Don't worry about it. Just find something that says fractions and click on that. If you see something that says fractions, you are in the right place, okay? And if you can't find it, I will, I actually, I think during lunch, I will set myself up as a student in the class as well. And that way I can see what you kids are also seeing, all right? Don't worry I'm too much done a quiz. Yes, I saw you took the quiz as well. Some of you took the quiz, but you did not complete it, okay? Make sure that you answer all of the questions. Don't worry if you get any of them wrong. I just want to make sure that we understand. Coach Chabot, I don't see the question. I sang about it, but I don't see the question. Did you find the thing that says fractions? F-R-A-C-T-I-O-N-S. 
Don't worry. I'll I'll uh, I'll let you know in the afternoon class because I will sign myself up as a student and then I can see exactly what you kids are looking at. Okay. All right. Let's go with our remaining time to section three. Oh, also, Vitu, I did not realize yesterday was a holiday, but not a holiday for school. So, yes. Also, same with Friday, okay? Yes, we have class on Friday, even though some people have a holiday. But we will have class as normal on Friday. All right. Once again, this is section three, and I'm on page 71. This should be labeled green. So um, we are going to try to write our own book review, okay? So try to think of a book that you liked reading. And then that is a good start. All right, so first we're just gonna read through this. Hopefully we can finish reading this. Uh, it says, Lynn's friend, Melly, writes a book review of Pig of the Dump, read and listen. All right, so first, as always, you start with your name at the top, and then you write the word book review, and then the name of the book that you are reviewing. All right, and let's look here. We have put the title in quotation marks here. And we have also capitalized a couple of letters because this is the name of the book, okay? We don't need to capitalize these little words because they're not too important, all right? We just wanna capitalize the first word and then all the important words. So we have capitalized the S on Stig and the D on Dump. All right, let's keep reading, shall we? Um, Vitu, can you start reading for me, please? Stig of the Dump. Stig of the Dump, an exciting and unusual. Unusual. Unusual story by Cal Clive. Clive King, the story. It's about a boy called Bear Barney. Barney, who is staying with his grand grandparents in the south of England. All right. So, um, our first paragraph here. This is called the introduction, and the introduction just gives the title of the book and. It lets you know the author as well, the person who wrote the book. And then it also introduces the main character. So let's look here. We have the title, Stig of the Dump. And this guy is the author. He wrote the book, Clive King. And then it just tells you a little bit about what the story is about, okay? We have it's about a boy called Barney. And it tells you where we are as well. It says he lives in England. All right. Um, Kim Sai, can you continue, please? Barney. Yep. Barney spends a lot of time alone. One day, he goes to he go for a walk and falls in into the lab large hole in the ground. He lands in a cave and meets a wild looking boy all right the boy um, looks let's keep going um molika can you read for me the boy That boy looks look, look about. about some 
Money. The boy that that some hot so bunny hot him say that they become that good friend and have to a great time in that. Okay. All right, Sri Kat, can you continue, please? They collect wood. They collect wood and make the fire fire with it. They have many amazing adventures. Bernie doesn't ask where he comes from. He only asks this question at the end of the book and he gets a big surprise all right thank you okay so this paragraph is called the body okay this is the body of our book review it says the body of the review gives a short description of the story and some characters okay so um Obviously, there's more than one person in this book. So yes, it tells us a little bit about uh, this other boy, a wild looking boy in a cave. Um, and basically, this is just giving us more details. And also notice here at the end, it says, he only asked this question at the end of the book and he gets a big surprise. Do we know what the surprise is? No, we do not because they're trying not to spoil the book for you. They don't wanna spoil it for you. All right, so um, that's paragraph two. And then let's keep going. Um, Kim John, can you read for me please? Oh, I think we're having trouble with the microphone. Um, Gigi, can you read for me? Or how about Roth? Can you read for me, please? Yes, each. I enjoy the story of friendship between the two very different boys. Their adventures are exciting, are exciting and sometimes funny. Everyone anyone. who enjoy anyone who enjoys um, adventure adventures. Stories will love this book. All right. So this last paragraph is called The Conclusion. The Conclusion gives the reviewers opinions about the story. The reviewer is you. You are the person who is reviewing the book, the writer. Okay. And you're just saying what you think about the book. Do we think it's funny? Do we think it's scary? Okay. Um, so this person said, I liked it because uh, it was a story about friendship. And it said it, um, it's an adventure book and it's exciting and it's funny, okay? And then they recommend the book, okay? So anybody who enjoys adventure books should read this book, all right? Um, this is probably a good place to end. However, let's look at the next page. We got about two minutes left. So on your lunch break, I just want you to think about a book that you liked to read. And I want you to try to plan a book review, okay? So all you need to do is think of a book title and I will help you out with the rest of this after lunch. All right, kids? All right, any questions about this? Teacher, I 
don't oh. know what book. You don't know any books? Teacher, can I, I know some of them? them? I read some of them. I could translate. What about Little Red Riding Hood? All right, Mina Hill, I'm sure you know some books. Yes, Little Red Riding Hood, have you read that? No. No, you've never heard of Little Red Riding Hood? I heard of it, I never read it. Mm, what books have you gotten from the library earlier this year? I forgot. Okay, well, just try and think about it while you're eating. Can I search the book? Yeah, sure, you can search a whole bunch of books. Sorry, Piri, did you have a question? Can I put some history books? Yeah, sure. You want to make a review of a history book? That is perfectly fine, as long as it's, it's something that you liked to read. Li Meng is already eating lunch. No, I'm just eating bananas. Ah, okay. Uh, Vitu, do you have a question? Uh, can we uh, write about some of the Can the history of the Kamai? Sure. Why not? I don't even mind if your book is in a different language. As long as the review is in English, uh, that's what counts. All right, kids, we're going to cut off. Go eat some lunch. Make sure you wear a mask outside. Make sure you wash your hands with lots and lots of soap. All right, kids. I have a go down. I'll see you after you eat your banana. Bye-bye.